Hey you guys, what's going on? Broken Daydream here, back here with another video. Have you ever been in the mood to watch an anime but have no clue what you want to watch? Well, that was me the other night and I was struggling to find something to watch. I finally landed on an anime that's been on my list for like two or three years now. And that anime happens to be the romantic drama comedy Orisuki, are you the only one that loves me? And I'm so glad that I started this anime. It's one of the few anime that's best to go into completely blind. It subverts your expectations of what you expect from a romantic comedy. But if you need a little bit more convincing to watch this anime, let me go and explain to you what happens just within the first episode. So this anime purposely starts off pretty generic. We're introduced to the main character Joro, the childhood friend that seems to have a crush on him, his best friend Sunchan, and the student council president who also seems to have a crush on him. So pretty generic so far, but this is where things start to get interesting. The student council president asks the main character to hang out alone together. This is interesting because if you're a rom-com connoisseur like myself, you know that the hangout slash not date doesn't normally happen until a few episodes into the anime, but it's happening within the very first episode, something's up. Of course, our main character agrees to hang out with her Saturday. Later that same day, he gets a text from his childhood friend seeing if he wants to hang out Saturday, but he already has plans with the president, so he tells her that he'll hang out with her Sunday. This is when some pretty generic anime stuff happens. They decide to meet at the clock tower, he thinks that she looks good in her outfit. They do the hangout, non-date thing, so on and so forth. At the end of their day, the president is like, hey, I need to tell you something and goes to sit on this bench. She tells him that her chest tightens every time she thinks of a certain person and how she's happy spending every day with this certain person. Wait, are we getting a love confession in the first episode? It looks like she's about to go in for a kiss, but then she admits that she's actually in love with his best friend. Of course, our main character is disappointed. She wants his help with getting them together. But after hearing her sob story of how she fell in love with his best friend, he decides that he'll help her. So the next day, he ends up hanging out with his childhood friend. At the end of their little hangout, she's like, hey, I gotta tell you something, and goes to sit down on a bench. The music starts swelling. She starts talking about how her chest gets tight every time she's around this person and how she's happy spending time with them every day. Wait a second. Are you guys also getting a sense of deja vu? She leans in, looking like she's about to give him a kiss, but then ends up saying that she's in love with his best friend. She also fell in love with him the same way that the president did. He also ends up agreeing to help her try to win his best friend's heart. So let's recap what happened so far. So he thought that the president and his childhood friend were about to confess their feelings to him. But in reality, they both like his best friend and he's agreed to help them both try to get with his best friend. Things are looking pretty juicy already. He's like, dang, why don't they like me? Don't I act like the perfect guy? This is when we find out the main character kind of puts on a fake persona. He doesn't show his true self. He then realizes that, wait, there's two of them, but only one guy. So one of them's gonna have to get rejected and he'll just catch the rebound of the one that does. So he sets his plan in motion and tries to help both of them. But they are both hopeless when it comes to the guy that they like. During lunch, he hides in the library to get himself some peace. But he doesn't like coming to the library very often because the librarian is always mean to him. He wants to be left alone, but she wants to chat. Somehow she knows about the situation that he's in. This is when she admits that she's been stalking him. She's like, hey, why don't we go talk on that bench over there? He's like, no, not again, not the bench. So she starts talking about how her chest always gets tight when she thinks about a certain person and how she likes spending time with this person every day. And of course, our main character assumes that she's also talking about his best friend. So she leans in as if she's about to give him a kiss. And then she says that she's in love with him. He's like, no, why does the ugly one have to be in love with me? She explains that she's in love with his true self, the one that he likes to hide. She asks him to stop by the library every day, otherwise she'll spill the beans. He's like, why is this happening to me? I work so hard to get the other two girls to fall in love with me, but instead I get the ugly one. So let's go ahead and recap everything. So he thought that his childhood friend and the president were going to confess their feelings to him, but instead they're in love with his best friend and he agreed to help both of them try to win his heart. He ends up going to the library to get away from everything, but ends up finding out that the girl that he thought hated him is actually in love with him and knows about his whole situation, including the fact how he likes to hide his true self. And this was just the first episode. 
Episode 2 gets even crazier, and then Episode 3 builds on top of Episode 2. It's just crazy, and I love it. I just finished Episode 4, and there's no signs of this anime slowing down. So you should definitely check out the anime, Orisuki, Are You the Only One That Loves Me? So if you guys like this video, like the video, and if you like me, subscribe to me. And as always, this has been Broken Daydream, and I'll catch y'all next time.